tapestry now is a rare exotic beast, isn't it, from the past. So it's something that most people encounter in museums and stately homes. So it's not a part of our everyday iconography anymore. Tapestry means posh. In Henry VIII's time, they were, you know, enormously expensive. I mean, somebody said that they cost as much as a battleship to have woven. And uh, contemporary art, in many ways, does the same job for the kind of uh, mega wealthy tycoons of today. Uh, and so in terms of uh, the asset group that they fit into, uh, tapestries haven't changed much. Tapestries for me, I mean, uh, in many ways, very pragmatic in that I, c you know, c because I work from a, a drawing that I do on Photoshop, um, it's a relatively, ironically, a relatively quick way to make a large artwork for me. You know, I can do a drawing in, in, a, in a few weeks, which can then be uh, translated into the tapestry and, and woven in a relatively quick time. You know, these very important historical artefacts, which my my work may be in the future, I wouldn't like to say, but I think, you know, if, if these, you know, if thing, tapestries like in Hampton Court, they've come through it down to us through the centuries. They've been through the filter, which has said they are important and beautiful objects. And so I think we can take their word for that now after all these hundreds of years. And so they should be preserved for the future. My work's new. You know, I think it's going to take a long while before it's been, you know, been checked out as thoroughly as the tapestries that are in this uh, palace. For me, you know, as somebody who makes new things and I regard myself as what I call a good enough craftsman, i.e., you know, if, if nobody's going to notice that it's bodged, then I'll bodge it. Um, I think it's amazing the amount of care they take and the patience they have and the sort of uh, the complexity of the solutions they have to come up with so that what they do is unnoticeable. That's a kind of weirdly mystical science. Uh, as for posterity, um, I don't worry about it at all. You know, if, for me, if it all goes into a skip the day after I die, I, it's not going to worry me because I'll be dead. Um, but for the people that have invested a lot of money in my work, uh, then they may well want to preserve them. I think it's down to the custodians in the future what they do with them.